Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am back after a while and I really wanted to make this video for so long. And this video is about knowledge base. I always wanted to find the easiest and the fastest way to include a knowledge base to my voice AI agents. And so far there was a possibility, but it was little bit complex. But today I'm making this video to show you how it's extremely easy to include a knowledge base to your voice AI agent and make it much smarter. And the best part about this is you can have either a link, a PDF file or even a text document that can act as a knowledge base to your voice AI agent and it can reference and answer questions while talking to a customer and all of this has been extremely easy right now because retail has introduced a new feature of knowledge base into their platforms so let's see how that works so i have just logged into my retail ai dashboard and this is the section which you will see as something new and this is where we can add our knowledge base and assign an agent to it so that it can reference this knowledge base when talking to anybody on the phone so I select this and I press this plus button and here I can add a knowledge base. And when I click add, retail gives me three options to add as a knowledge base. I can add web pages, which is I think the best and the quickest way to add any knowledge base. You can also upload files uh, like you have PDF or any other files, which is not available online due to privacy reasons or company policies. You can also have a private knowledge base set up for your AI agent and also you can add custom text which can be referenced to from this knowledge base by your AI agent. So for this video let me show you how to do it with the web pages. So I click on add web pages and here I can add a URL of any page and the way retail uh, takes knowledge from that page is or that website is that it searches for the whole sitemap of that website and crawls every single page that is on that website and includes that inside this knowledge base. So for example, I go to the Apple's newsroom where Apple announces all the latest developments on their platform or all the latest news of their devices and softwares. So this could be a good uh, reference point of creating a knowledge base so what I'll do is I'll just copy the URL from here and I go back to my retail dashboard and I paste this URL right here and if I click Save it's going to select the sitemaps a sitemap is basically a index of a website which has information about every single page that is available on this website so retail has scanned all of these pages inside the newsroom so it is going from uh, news which is the most recent one which is october 2024 till all the way to the news from archives and 2009 so with just one click what you have done here is you have given the knowledge of everything that apple has ever introduced, ever announced and included all of that inside this knowledge base with just one click. Isn't that amazing? So let's say I select just this one because if I select this, it's going to pull everything that's linked with this sitemap inside the main URL. Okay, so I click save here and let's say I give it a name Apple. Okay, and they, this option is also extremely nice because almost all the time websites keep getting updated with the latest news, latest uh, articles and you don't have to manually uh, sync pages for any new information. If you click this, every new information would be auto synced every 10 hours and the knowledge of your agent is going to get updated without any manual effort. So I think this is a really amazing uh, option that you can leverage so that the knowledge of your agent is always up to date. So let's save it and it's going to take a little while to upload this whole sitemap or the whole knowledge base and now it's uploaded. It has also given you an ID which you can use to call this uh, knowledge base through API. Right. So we'll see that some sometime else. But for now, let's go to agents and let's create a new agent. 
single prompt start from blank and let's say this is our agent and let's name it to apples assistant okay let me give it the prompt uh, you are a helpful apple assistant and you know all about apple products services and announcement ever made right and let me also tell it that your source of knowledge is the linked knowledge base okay i save this and i have to go here in the knowledge base and i have to add a knowledge base which we had saved in the name of apple right so we do this and it auto saves our agent and now we can test our llm right here so let's test it uh what's what's the latest announcement from apple right so it says uh they have developed the first end-to-end -end hearing health experience this news was shared approximately four hours and 40 minutes ago uh what about the new imax right so it says the apple recently introduced imax which is the m4 uh, and with apple intelligence and this announcement was made about so and so minutes ago so you know with this single line of uh, adding a website you have just enabled infinite knowledge to your ai agent you can also add multiple knowledge bases to a single agent and you can train your agent through different context with a mix and match of your prompting as well as the knowledge base so you can create a very powerful agent which is constantly learning from the new articles which are published on any knowledge source because retail enables you to automatically create your knowledge base every 12 hours if you remember that setting that we checked when we are creating the knowledge base so i think this is a really powerful use of knowledge base and i'm excited because the possibilities are endless and that's why i just wanted to show that this is a new addition inside retail uh, which you can use and leverage and let's ask a few more questions uh, when was iPhone 8 introduced? So it says the iPhone 8 was introduced by September 12, 2017, right? So it knows everything from that one link. That's really, really powerful. So I hope this was useful. Play around with knowledge base and I'm I can't wait to see what things you can create and if you need any help i'm always there to help you out and if you want to sign up for retail you'll find the link in the description and if you want my help you can always drop in your comments if i can help you i obviously will i'll see you in the next one